Holly, this, I have to say, is part of like the best part of my day, hanging out with you and having fun. It's so fun. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we're talking about overcoming challenges. Yes. Right? Oh my and gosh. And the title of your session, Eat Your Frogs First, what does that mean? Well, so let's, let's put it back. Who wants to eat a frog? Nobody. Exactly. Okay. And so the best part of your day is always going to be the first thing in the morning because if you eat your frog first thing in the morning, it's small. If you will wait until late in the day, you're eating an elephant. And so the whole strategy behind this, and thank you, Mark, Mark Twain, right? He said, eat your frogs first. And so I started thinking about realtors in today's market and like the obstacles and the, the craziness that's happening. And it's like, all right, guys, let's eat our frogs first. Wow. Is that your presentation? Yeah, that is all about like how we go after today's market, how we manage it, what it takes, and how we overcome challenges. So here's the problem for a lot of us, right? There's so many challenges, oh, and I get absolutely. eat your frog first, but I think we're all, not all, a lot of us yeah. like to put it off, right? It's going to get better if I put it off, totally. if I put it off. I, I'm not going to, I'll deal with it tomorrow, and yeah. then tomorrow comes and... It's bigger and uglier right? and right. so bad. And so I, I totally feel that, right? Like as a, as a street agent, right? That right. active practitioner, right. Right. I totally get it. And now I'm in management and the fires only get worse, right? So what I want to instill for agents is break it down into four easy steps that they can do to help with their clients, like help triage the day, help get out and win the day and actually make some money. Oh, you can give me the four steps. Absolutely. Where are they? Yeah. Look, <laughs> I want you to. I want you to go out, and I want you to build your community, okay. right? I want you to build your community and and focus on being that community connector. The second thing I want you to do is be what people can't Google. Oh. Yeah. Right. Because if we try to compete with Google, we're going to lose every day of the week. Right. But if you're what people can't Google, see, you're filling in the lines of what's on that Google search. You're becoming that connector. The next thing I want you to do is be that trusted guide to the process. Because if people are Googling, how do I buy a house in today's market? There's nothing out there. They're Googling, can I buy a house, getting a loan, finding a house, and then everything else is magic. And that's where you come in as the trusted advisor. And the fourth thing I want you to do is work harder, not smarter, by leveraging your day and the people that love you. That's it. That's all how we win the day. So if it's so simple, why aren't we doing it? Um, because we like to make things hard. <laughs> no, no, truly, I think it's one of those where I love real estate, but we get forty nine ninety five to death. Like if you just buy this app, if you just download this thing, if yes. you just do that, stop. Shh. Be awesome where you're at. Go to the people who love and trust you. Reach out to them, and they will take care of you. Ask for the business. And this seems like something that we have to do, especially in this market that mm. is bananas, right? Totally, totally. And this is what I love. So NAR just updated. It used to be it, uh, the average homeowner would only move every 10 to 12 years. Right. That just dropped. Now around eight years. So every one out of eight clients you're calling right now, boom, they're more likely to move this year than last. So you have to get your things in order. It, the opportunity to reach out to those people who already love you is there. Don't buy leads. Call the people who love you. Thank you, Holly. Thank you.